kicked off Black History Month with an annual celebration. Last night's event included a visit from a local trailblazer. Eyewitness News reporter Simone Davis has his story. This is Colonel Brodus Hartley marching on FAMU's campus 10 years ago. He was commemorating the 50th anniversary of the 1956 Tallahassee bus boycott. Fast forward a decade, and Hartley is back on FAMU's campus, sharing his experience of the boycott with the campus community. But they found out nearly 90% of the ridership was by black people. And they couldn't stay in business. Hartley is kicking off FAMU's Black History Month celebration with a historical narrative titled Stories from the Civil Rights Movement 2. And after FAMU students, Wilhelmina Jakes and Carrie Patterson, were arrested for refusing to uh, give up their seat, um, it was Colonel Hartley who got the students together, organized them, and called for a meeting in Lee Hall. At the time of the 1956 boycott, Hartley served as the student government president. Many students in attendance Monday night say they plan to absorb as much knowledge as they can from him. And you can't get wisdom from every, everything and everybody, but to hear from him from the, from the source's mouth, it's, it's something that you can't even express in words. And for Hartley, he says that's always his goal for young people to learn their history, using it to build a better tomorrow. And I believe we can look at the progress that has been made over these many years with nonviolence. In Tallahassee, Simone Davis, WCTV. I